Hi everybody, today I'm here to do a review for you guys on the new Smashbox Masterclass 2 palette. This is sort of like Smashbox's uh, holiday palette and I picked it up during the Sephora VIB sale. So I got it a little bit cheaper. This is what it looks like. It comes in this really pretty um, pewter, slightly shiny sort of mirrored packaging here. Um, you open it up and you have a lot of product. You have uh, tons of eyeshadows on this one side and then you have a mix of eyeliners, blushes, bronzers, highlighters, finishing powders on the other. Um, what I think is so amazing about this palette is the versatility of it. It definitely is going to be a great palette to travel with because like I said you have so many options here. You have for the eyeshadows a mix of mattes, shimmers, metallic, all sort of finishes and then when you look over here on the face side um, you do have your eyeliners, your blushes, and your finishing powders all with really really great pigmentation. Um, overall there's not really a whole lot of duds in this palette. Um, uh, there are, however, I think a few drawbacks, one of them being that there's not really a mirror in this palette, and although while this whole um, packaging is somewhat mirrored-like, it's very distorted, so you can never use it, you know, to apply your makeup. The other thing that I don't really love about this palette is the whole, like, flip uh, plastic cover here. It gets in the way a lot of the times, I feel like, and I wish that they just would have somehow put the names of the products, like, underneath the pans, and really just gotten rid of the whole like flip plastic thing. It's just kind of annoying. I just have one more little tiny drawback and that's um, the way that the uh, packaging is like right along the seam here. It's got this cloth-like material, and so when you're playing around with these eyeshadows and these blushes, sometimes the powder will kick up and it will land on this cloth, and then the, like right here, if I can kind of show you guys, the cloth will uh, hang onto it and you can't really, you know, get it to remove or anything. That's kind of annoying just because it makes it look kind of dirty. Um, other than those a few things though, I really, really do like this. So I have a clip here of me applying some of the makeup from this palette. Um, you can see I'm applying some of these eyeshadows. I used this little trio here called Vignette. The way that the eyeshadow uh, palette side of this is sort of set up is you have um, all these different types of trios. So at the top here you have like Headshot, uh, Heliograph, the next one is Focal Point, Quick Take. So they all kind of have their own names and sort of designed to be little tiny trios. And then at the bottom here you have what is essentially just like your everyday kind of basic shades. You have a matte cream a light matte brown, a matte darker brown, and then a matte black. I'll flip over this plastic thing so you can get a better look at all the eyeshadows. Like I said, a wide variety of finishes, textures. Um, I've noticed with like this really pretty purple here that sort of has that golden shimmer, when I applied it in this little clip, it didn't really apply as metallic and as true as I thought it would. It more just turned out to be a uh, lavender color with some slight gold glitter than it really did like a uh, really pretty lavender with sort of a golden metallic sheen which I thought was kind of a miss. Um also, this silvery shade right here doesn't apply super well. Other than that, though, out of all these shadows that I use, they are super nice. I am wearing these shadows today. Uh, I'm just wearing this palette today. I also use the eyeliners from this palette and the blushes from this palette. Um, so yeah, the eyeshadows overall, I am really impressed with. They're super smooth. They're really silky. Good quality. They have really nice pigmentation to them. And when you move over here to the more, like, face side of the palette, the eyeliners are really nice. Uh, I am a little concerned, though, if they might dry out because they aren't like housed in any sort of like a packaging. I feel like after a while they could get kind of dry and crumbly. I'm not too sure. I know that Smashbox puts a lot of their cream eyeliners into palettes so maybe they have the formulation down to a point where you don't really have to worry about it but we'll see with time. Um, the blushes are super nice. You get five blushes most of which are matte. The only one that's kind of shimmery is this light pink here called Carnation and then you get one matte bronzer which I absolutely love. And then on the bottom here you get sort of like this highlighter called Shimmer and then this um, I don't know, I guess I'd call it like a finishing powder or maybe like a highlighter for medium to darker skin tones called Lens. Uh, not too sure what Lens is supposed to be for people that, that are like my skin tone. The only thing I can kind of think of is like a finishing powder to dust over, maybe to warm up your complexion a little bit. I'm not super sure. Um, but yeah, again, the pigmentation on these is really nice today. I'm wearing this uh, one called Flush, which is a really pretty sort of peachy tone. It really blends nicely. Again, super pigmented. If I'm just watching the 
these blushes for you. You can see that the pigmentation is really, really nice on these. So overall, I must say that I am pretty impressed with this palette. I think it's a great, great value because you're getting so many different products in one palette. Um, I do think it is really nice for travel despite the fact that there isn't a mirror. I mean, you could easily bring along a compact or something like that. Um, but yeah, I would really recommend this palette to you guys. The eyeshadows wear really nicely. The blushes wear really nicely. The cream eyeliners are really creamy and smooth. And overall, I feel like, like I said, it's just such a great value. This does retail for $59. With all these coming around and stuff, you could easily get this cheaper, you know, with a gift card or something. So I would definitely put this on like a Christmas wish list or like gift idea for a makeup lover because you just have so many different options here. and I could see this pleasing a lot of people because of the variety you get in this palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review here on the Smashbox Masterclass 2 palette. Let me know if you're interested in this project, if you have it and you really like it. You guys all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.